something that I see a lot in Squarespace Facebook communities and in the forums are people asking, oh, how do I add like a, a groovy little drop shadow to my images? And usually it's pretty simple. It's like, oh, there's a bit of CSS, blah, blah, blah. But you can use a code free way to do this. And I'm going to show you how to do it. All you need is an image block and a shape block. Put them together, Bob's your uncle. So we're going over to the screen now. Now I'm on a, a template website here. If we click on edit, I'm going to add a drop shadow to this image. You know, if you wanted to add a, an image in, it would just be add block, add image, and then you'd stretch it out like so. You click on here, add your image, Bob's your teapot. But here's one I made earlier. So drop this in. And then what we need to do is we need to drop a shape block behind it. So I'm going to click on add block and add a shape block like so. What I'm going to do is I'm going to measure it to the image block. And then I'm going to click on edit. Then we need to make sure it's the same shape as the image block. Uh, and this instance, it's a rectangle, but it's got a border radius on. So if I double click the image and I go into design, I can see that, okay, the, the corner radius is 20. So I go on the shape block and I make the corner radius 20. Nice and simple. Then after that, what we want to do is go down to drop shadow, click on this, and you can see now the shape has got a red drop shadow. Now, personally, I'm not a big fan of having red as a drop shadow. It should really be black or white, in my opinion. So click on color, and then we're going to change that to black. And you can see now that we've got a black drop shadow. And you can play around with this. So if I go back into it here, we can show how much of a blur we have. I'm going to go with, let's go with 10. Distance, you can see, I mean, it <laughs> looks ridiculous. But so we'll keep it to zero. You can change the angle. So whether it's like towards the bottom, all around, towards the top, you know, whatever. And then if you want, you can change the opacity of the color. So I think like you don't want a full opacity. You want it to be somewhere in the middle, just so it looks pretty faint. Because then when we sit it behind, by clicking that a few times, you can see it just looks like a really natural shadow. Once you're happy with what you've got, you want to click save and exit, and then we'll see it in real time. Yeah, there we go. So it just gives this nice 3D pop to your images. And you can do this for any image that you wish. You can do with images that are shapes. As long as the image itself matches um, whatever shape block you can get, then you can go wild. I actually think that looks really cool. And hopefully, hopefully you do. And hopefully you found that helpful. If you did, please make sure to leave a like and hit subscribe. And if you want me to build your Squarespace website, you can get in touch using the links in the description.